Hey folks, Antar1011 here, and I've got a treat for you. I am debuting my newest team on this channel, not my own. Okay, that's a little misleading. I'm uploading a battle with this team on my channel too, but this one came first chronologically, and I'm considering this to be, to predate that other upload. So yeah, it's a premiere, and it's an RU battle. Um, so the story behind this team is that it's ac it was um, made by a good friend of mine named Jade Hex. I think I had him upload a uh, battle to this channel at some point when I was feeling sick or what have you. Um, anyway, uh, he and I had just had a UU battle. He had wiped the floor with me. I'm like, dude, you gotta build me a team. And so he was like, oh, I just basically said, any tier, I don't care what, just build me a team and I will breed it. So he came up with the team, tested it in Pokemon Online, and gave me the specs, and I built it, and here you see it. So anyway, um, I lead off with my Rotom um, Mo form. Um, gonna swap out here on, uh, with a Volt Switch. It is a Choice Scarf set, uh, and I'm gonna go and go ahead and go into my George the Third, my uh, Slow King, since I don't really think he can do anything to me, um, and I'm. Uh, hoping that my skull is going to break his sub, and it does, so I'm in a pretty good situation. Um, I'm not happy that he got off the um, shift gears, but as you can see, George III takes that with a decent amount of health, and I'm going to be able to finish him off with another skull. So that is excellent. Uh, his uh, cling clang is out of the way, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, so, but I am down to 154 HP, but that's okay because Slow King got Regenerator in the in uh, the Dream World, so I can swap it out. And look, it just gained back a third of its health. He sends out a Spider Pig, and um, maybe is the only that's the name of my Audino is the only um, Pokemon that I really have that can wall this guy, and it's not walling him very well. Um, he's gonna go ahead and swap his Spider Pig out, and goes ahead and sends out Gallade. Um, and I'm used to, you know, Gallade not really being that menacing of a threat, but we are down a few tiers, so, um, you know, I'm really curious to see how, what Gallade can do. Um, I'm obviously going to want to switch out. Uh, of course, I'm going to go ahead and stall out a turn with Protect. This actually was not the best move because the Protect was obvious, and he went off, uh, he went for a free bulk up. Um, there are plenty of things I could have done, like, um, gone for the Wish, unless I'd already done that. No, I, I could have gone for the Wish, and it would have been excellent, um, but yeah. So, I consider who I can send out into this Gallade, uh, to wall it, and actually Slow King would have probably been a good move. Instead, I send out Tuesday, um, my... Excuse me, Quillfish. Yeah, these are Pokemon that I wouldn't have thought to use on my own. Predict the Drain Punch, it's excellent. I resist it, and I got the Intimidated off, so his attack is lowered, and I figure I can set up on him, because, come on, what Gallade carries Psycho Cut in this day and age? No Gallade, that's what Gallade. So anyway, uh, I go ahead and go for the Spikes. Interestingly enough, I'm faster. Um, that Gallade must be uh, a bulky slow set. And he goes for the Psycho Cut, I'm like, are you serious? This is the one Gallade in the world that runs Psycho Cut anymore? I'm, I couldn't believe it, I just couldn't believe it. So obviously I'm gonna have to swap out next turn. Um, but at least I got off a layer of spikes. That'll be good, you know. Um, Tuesday is called back, and I'm going to go ahead and send out my Gargon, my physical wall. Uh, it's a Tangela, and I don't have much to fear from, from him because I don't think he wants the Fire Punch. I'm going to have, gonna have, go have that. I'm going to have to double switch here, here um, considering that he's got the Alakazam. Now, this pissed me off a little bit. This is a Dream World Alakazam. No such thing exists. Um, has not yet been released. Anyway, it was not predicting him to carry the Grass Knot. Does a whole lot of damage, but again, I'm taking the hit all right. I figure I can switch. Um, and, sorry, I think, you know, I take it okay. I get off the Scald, break his sub. So he's running lots of uh, subsets. I really was not expecting him to also carry the Shadow Ball. Um, that is going to be enough to take me out, and George III is down. Yeah, great name for a slow king, right? <laughs> okay, anyway, Tachikoma, my uh, Rotom, uh, is back out. I'm just going to go ahead and do the maximum amount of damage I can um, with a yeah, so spike damage with a Leaf Storm. Just hope I can take out whoever he sent out. And so, don't take him out. I'm like, shoot. Well, that sucks. But it's okay. He's down to practically no HP. Um, I am Scarfed and he's slow anyway, so uh, he goes ahead and goes for the Shadow Sneak, but I really don't think it's going to do very much, and as you see, it doesn't. Um, and another Leaf Storm is going to take out his Gallade. Uh, I actually really like this set. I might end up making um, one of these myself, but Bulky Gallade does pretty well, gotta say. Um, he goes ahead and sends out the Wizard again. Um, 
it should be taking spikes damage. Arr! Okay, gonna go ahead and send out maybe. Um, predicting the Shadow Ball. Excellent, excellent. Um, he's gonna go ahead and side shock me. And I'm like, I think I can take that okay, right? No, I can't. Anyway, I do get off the wish, um, so this is going to be a great opportunity to send in one of my sweepers who will be able to set up, and hopefully I'll be able to take this guy out. I go ahead and send out Brookside, my uh, Dragonair, um, which is the exact same um, Pokemon as Brookside, my uh, uh, Little Cup uh, Dratini. Um, but this, you know, it's evolved. Isn't that great? Anyway, he goes ahead and slash shocks again, and I go ahead, I make a stupid, stupid move, and go for the Dragon Dance. I should have run the calcs. There's no excuse for me not running the calcs. Plus one is not enough to outspeed a freaking Alakazam. So, Brookside is going to go down in history as the most worthless member of my team. And in fact, um, this is the only battle you will see with uh, Brookside because I have replaced him. Her, rather. Um, yeah, uh, both Jade Hex has a copy of this team too. He came to the same conclusion I did, that namely that Dragonair is worthless even with the Eviolite. Um, and so I replaced it with a, uh, with uh, Steelix. He replaced it with a Golurk, but I didn't want to use Golurk because I was planning to use it on my UU team. Anyway, back to the battle. Um, he goes ahead and sends out his ambi, his fake ambi palm, his Chilatino. That's not actually its English name. Um, didn't you know? I guess. Anyway, I'm taking those. Um, I am taking those tail slaps. I'm very happy to see that this is not a Dream World um, illegal skill link. Um, Minchino. So that's excellent. I get off my Leech Seed. I think I can take, you know, at least one or two more rounds of these Tail Slaps. And, you know, I'm doing okay. Um, 94 HP, I gotta worry about this. And my Sleep Powder misses. And that crit to I mean, that bit of hacks totally mattered. If I put him to sleep, I could have Giga Drain set up, recovered back my health, it would have been nice. Anyway, gonna go ahead, I'm gonna have to send out my uh, Tuesday, um, my, uh, whatchamacallit, Quillfish, uh, and I'm hoping that the Intimidate will be enough to uh, allow Tuesday to survive, and indeed, I survived with 14 HP, uh, 34 after lefties, uh, and actually um, a bit more than that after um, Weak Seed. Yes, I'm up to 70 HP, I'm hoping I can survive another hit, but I don't want to count on it, so I go for the Aqua Jet does not do nearly enough. Maybe I should have gone for the next layer of spikes, I don't know, but that's it for my um, Quillfish. Uh, now I get the free switch and protect Goma, and I'm going to be able to take him out. I predicted him to switch, not so much. Go for the Volt Switch. Um, he stays in, dies, and I'm going to have to switch out and giving him the switch advantage. Um, so Tachikoma is back. I go ahead and send out my Gargan, thinking that if I have to switch, at least I'll recover more health. He sends out his Spider Pig, Spider Pig, um, and obviously I'm going to switch out, predicting the Bug Buzz. Maybe is really my only choice here, and I just have no idea how I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do here. Anyway, I guess he's probably Specs. Um, he uses Volt Switch, predicting my switch, switches out. I wish I'd stayed in, it would have been awesome. But oh well, uh, you can't predict everything. And this is the most hilarious part of this battle. He sends out a Rhyperior, and rather than do the smart thing and switch out, I decide to stay in. Um, and I'm going to go for the Toxic here, because maybe he actually has no attacking moves. Um, it's going to go for the Toxic, and this next part is just going to be freaking hilarious. Um, so I'm down to 20, uh, 28 HP, 53 after lefties, um, and I'm kind of thinking I can take him with an Audino. So I go ahead and protect this turn. He goes for the Rock Polish, predicting my protect. Uh, obvious, obvious. Um, and this next turn, I'm going to go ahead and predict him to predict my double protect. Um, and so indeed, he goes for the second Rock Polish, uh, but I stay in. I'm not going to protect. I am going to wish. That is right, folks. I am going to wish um, I'm going to be able to get back almost all of my health, and I am toxic stalling this guy out. So, you know, all of you people who watch Magnitude's battles are like, oh, well, how are you going to get a, uh, you know, KO with X, Y, Z? Well, this is how you get a kill with an Audino. Uh, I think he might have already gotten a kill with an Audino, and it probably was very similar to this. Um, I know that he's attempted, uh, attempted at least once. Anyway, I go for the double protect here. It fails. That's okay. He's going to go for the stone edge. It's going to hit, but I really don't think it's going to take me out. And indeed, I survive with 51 HP. How badass is that? 
back up to 76 HP, uh, and his uh, Rhyperior goes down to Toxic. That is a kill for Audino. So even if I lose this battle right now, I do not care because Audino freaking got a kill. Anyway, Bug Buzz is going to take out maybe at this point. You know, no point in switching out. I really couldn't have stalled him out. And now, uh, my, all my Pokemon are weak to Bug Buzz at this point. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Leaf Storm, hoping that it takes him out. Unfortunately, it does not. He survives with a sliver of HP. Bug Buzz is obviously going to take me out, and I'm going to be down to my last Pokemon. So Tachi Koma, bye bye. You did a great job. You just need a little bit more power. Oh well. Um, Gargon is my last Pokemon, and Bug Buzz. I'm hoping I can survive at full health, but he almost certainly is spexed, and there really wasn't any shot there. So um, he wins the battle, which is a sliver of HP, and that is good game. So, um, oh yeah, I never mentioned my opponent. Uh, it's in the uh, annotations, obviously, but his name was Pokemon Battle Forever. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. So long, folks.